Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. You know, I really must apologize. I can't believe with all the videos that I've put on my YouTube channel that I just have not done one showing the dangers of using a cell phone. Uh, I think I was more concerned with doing video showing cell phone towers and cordless phones and wireless internet so I'm finally getting around to just showing you the absolute danger of using a cell phone. It's very, very simple. Uh, I have a cell phone here. I rarely use it. I keep it in my glove compartment in my car. And I don't have a smartphone. I wish I did. Because if I had a smartphone, it would, uh, as we say, blow your mind to see how strong it is. Uh, this is just a regular, kind of an inexpensive phone. I'm going to dial my number here. That should pretty much speak for itself. Um, turn the ringer down so we don't have to listen to that. So the phone is now connected. And look at the acoustometer. Watch when I bring watch when I bring the cell phone next to it. Literally it pushes the meter to its capacity over six volts per meter peak and up no as high as well, as high as 100,000 microwatts per square meter. Now remember, biological effects start down here at 3.4 microwatts per square meter, according to the Bioinitiative Report. So between the 1 and the 5 microwatts per square meter of average power density, biological effects start down there. And my cell phone is still connected. And look at that, pushing the meter to its capacity. And people are holding these next to their heads all over the world. Now watch what happens when I disconnect the call. See that? The meter shuts off immediately. When you have a cell phone on your body, even on standby, it's looking around for a cell tower, it's looking to make a connection with the cell tower, so it pulses out radio frequency radiation, or what's known as microwave radiation, every five or six minutes or something like that, looking to establish a connection with the cell tower. And as soon as you make a call, you see what just happened here, and it pushed this meter to its capacity of measuring, and people are holding these phones near their head, or on their head, all day long. I really don't want to go through the trouble of measuring a smartphone or a Blackberry or various other phones to show you just let's just say that the example that I've given here is a good example that should actually bring quite a bit of awareness thank you